Hey, Carl Johnson. CJ. Oh, shit. Come on over here, son. Move over. Let him sit down, asshole. So you finally found time to drop by. Man, I've been busy. I've been burying my moms, man. Sounds like a fucking excuse to me. Officer Pulaski thinks you're trying to screw with us, Carl. Now you get this straight. We own you. You're ours. We can shit on you from such a height, you'll think God himself has crapped on you. You understand? He better fucking understand. Yeah, he better have. Time to go to work, CJ, and earn your freedom. There's a guy holed up across town. You got that address, Pulaski? Another gang banging, drug pushing, cop killing bitch just like you. We don't like him, and he don't like us. Now you make sure he never leaves the neighborhood, not even in a box. Now get the fuck out of here. So you dragged me way across town to see what? Just in time, Missy. Take a good hard look over there. So, some ballers hanging around a dope spot. So what? Just watch, homie. What the fuck? Oh, no. Shit, Smoke, what you into? Shh, that's it. Look at that ride. That's the motherfucking green saber. Shit, Smoke? Crash making you sell us out? Moms! Sorry, Issy. I heard a rumor and poked around. I didn't believe it myself, but... Nah, nah, you did the right thing. I owe you, C's. I gotta go tell Sweet about... Oh, fuck! Sweet! Look, go get Kendall and take her to a safe place. What you thinking? It's sweet. I think him and the homies is walking into a trap. Just go. Go! You got a bag over your head, boy. How you feel about that? Man, take it off. Please, man. I can't breathe. Please. Oh, all right. But only because you said please. You fucking sick motherfucker. Intimidate those who intimidate others, Carl. It's my job. Right in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, where we at? The middle of fucking nowhere. Nice, clean air. Fucking smoke. Oh, sweet. Sweet is alive. Alive and inside. He's in a prison hospital, being treated for gunshot wounds. Awaiting trial. Yeah. Somehow, nobody's caught you yet. Oh, yeah. You should be glad, Carl. Your moron brother's alive, your street trash soon-to-be-turned-out sister's alive, and she's only sucking one greaseball's dick. <laughs> Things are going pretty well for you, Carl. So behave, nigga. We want you to do a little favor for us, Carl. I can't believe that nigga Smoke turned on me. Smoke? Smoke does exactly what he's told. Ah, ah. He learned that lesson a long time Damn, ago. Damn, man. Take it yeah, easy. homies for life. Street loyalty. That's all bullshit, Carl. Didn't you learn that when they ran you out of town just because you let Brian die? Huh? Eddie, I can't deal with this guy. He's an idiot. Let me air this fucker out. No, hey. no, 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 officer. For once, let's let the kid do something good with this useless life. He's gonna help us with the fight against crime. Right, Carl? Yeah, by any means necessary. Now you stay the fuck away from Smoke and stay the fuck away from us. Otherwise, Sweet's gonna find himself on a baller's block getting in touch with his feminine side. Hey, Hernandez, you gonna Come piss here. all day? Get your hands off me, man. For some reason, we've got a little problem with a former friend of ours. He seems to disagree with some of our methods. No, who could do that? Yeah, you'll never find anybody as fork-tongued as this snake-ass bastard. Soon as he gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar, he'll whistle any tune internal affairs wants him to. See, they got him hiding up Mount Chilean someplace, so they can manipulate his testimony any way they want to. 
I want you to pay him a little visit, Carl, and destroy all his evidence before he testifies. Sort this out, Carl, so Officer Tenpenny can sleep easy at night. Man, we want evidence he ain't gonna talk. 